How you doing YouTube? It's Jay here again with another video for YouTube. But today is actually a special video and uh, I wanted to make this video in my... I have a bunch of different interests always. I'm always interested in many different things. Uh, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about history and about my love of it and the reason why uh, not this is not a video about metal detecting but it's kind of going to piggyback on it. Today I was actually able to go metal detecting in Benjamin Rush State Park and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about a bridge that is in Benjamin Rush State Park that has been basically forgotten by history and the bridge is the name of the bridge Old Lincoln Highway Bridge uh, Ben Salem Byberry Turnpike Bridge there's been several bridge names that have been thrown around for it over the years but we'll call it the, the Byberry Ben Salem Turnpike Bridge because um, that's kind of what it is. Um, but a little bit of history, basically going, rewinding a little bit. The bridge was built in 1806, and uh, it was renovated in 1917. The Roosevelt Boulevard was built in the 50s, uh, and basically when the Roosevelt Boulevard was built, it made the old road and this bridge completely relevant. So when you go into Benjamin Rush State Park, you park your car, you walk down the road where you're, there's a walking path that they just built. Off to the left side, if you go down a small little ramp, basically a natural ramp that goes down, there's a road that runs there and it's all covered with weeds and grass and old twigs. But the road was actually a turnpike before... Um, uh, you know, I'm not really sure how many, it doesn't look huge, like it's not like a huge road, but it's uh, it's a fairly well-worn road, and it leads up to this bridge that I discovered the last time I metal detected there, and um, I basically had a lot of suspicions about the bridge, and I looked it up, and my suspicions ended up being correct, because I'm pretty good at judging construction times. Um, I thought the bridge was built in the mid-1800s, but it was actually built earlier than that. So I was able to take a series of pictures today that um, I, I want to share with, with you because I'm really, um, I'm really jazzed about being able to get in there because there's actually a way that I can get right down into the Pocasson Creek, which is what the bridge runs over. And uh, I was able to take some pictures of the arches, some really nice pictures, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Uh, even though I didn't really find anything metal detecting, I found a doorknob from the... Uh, Byberry State Mental Institution, which is pretty cool. Uh, but really, the bridge was a highlight of my day. Uh, and I wanted to show you some of the, the pictures, and I'll kind of intersperse this video, kind of cut it in small pieces so that I know which picture is coming next, if you know what I mean. So, um, here it is. So, this is the first picture that you're seeing. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a wide shot of the bridge in question. Uh, from kind of the banks of the Pocasson Creek, I'm not actually in it, but you can see uh, uh, on the bottom part of the picture that there's a lot of rocky area that you can walk out onto, and I actually did some detecting over there. Didn't really find anything good, but, you know. Anyway, you can see the old construction of this bridge. Uh, if you look in between the two arches, you'll see some of the concrete additions that were made. Uh, in the early part of the 1900s. And, um, but you can also see in the upper right-hand corner where the uh, top part of the bridge is, it's really starting to fall down, um, that top part, because there's a definite um, panache to the top part of the bridge where you have the high stones and the low stones, high stone, low stone, um, and then that stops. That's basically where the top part of the bridge is just falling falling over, and those old stones are just falling off the bridge slowly and uh, kind of sad looking there. Uh, this one is just a little bit of a pretty much the same stuff but uh, it's just me and in, in, I'm now in the water you can see that my uh, perspective has changed so you can see that top portion that is really starting to fall apart from this side um, just uh, sad but the arch part you can see how strong the arches still appear going all the way through um, to the other side 
it just it I mean from from one end the bridge looks like it's going to stand forever but then in other areas it just looks like it's completely falling apart and you don't even want to go on it this one is a bit of a detail of one of the arches you can see the sunlight from the water is hitting the top of the arch it's a pretty nice photo I like this photo um, but it really gives you a perspective inside the arch itself and how smooth it still looks and how good it still looks considering that it's been standing here for almost 200 years two years shy of 200 years uh, it's it looks surprisingly good from this angle it looks like it's a strong structure well built you know one can only wonder how many horses and buggies and carriages this carried at one time it's just uh, it really ignites the imagination this is one that uh, is basically the Philadelphia side of the bridge this one would be stretching if you, if you look at it from where I am I'm facing Philadelphia facing south so this side of the bridge is actually in pretty good shape um, you can see I don't know how well you can see in this photo there's a closer one but there's a lot of um, masonry and I think a lot of concrete addition to in between the stones that I think that they did to just kind of like point the stones a little bit and to uh, strengthen them a bit but um, from this angle it actually looks quite good all right, these next two pictures actually depict the other side, which is basically heading towards Ben Salem, uh, north. You can see the first one here is a wider shot of the second arch, um, and you can see the top portion that is completely falling apart. Um, definitely in much worse shape, not really sure why. It's like one side of the Ben Salem bound white way is bad and the one side of the Philadelphia bound side is bad the other side which I'll show you in a little bit but you can see with these two photos here um, definitely some issues here on the top part of the bridge they are the, the stones on the top are falling over and uh, it's basically just a matter of time until the entire side wall just completely disintegrates into the Pocassin Creek Again, this is a sad side of it. This is just kind of an artsier detail shot of inside the first archway with the sun bouncing off of the Pocassin Creek. But I think it's just a good indication of uh, just how strong the arch structure is uh, and how even though it was invented probably 3,000 years ago by the Romans, uh, it's still very strong bridge construction uh, and uh, really interesting here the next few photos here are uh, all pretty much of the same part of the wall on the Philadelphia side of uh, this bridge and as you can see there's a lot of points where the masonry has kind of fallen out from in between the stones and the um, but you can see kind of where the early 1900s renovation was was going with uh, with trying to add some concrete to kind of I guess bolster the structure and um, add to the original stone that was there um, and then there's a one photo towards the end I'm not sure if I'm on it yet but there's a photo where the uh, you can see the top portion of the um, of the wall with the way that the stones are laid it's just a really elegant and very simple um, simple way of, of setting the bridge up and uh, this is all the one side of the wall which is actually still in pretty good shape it's almost it would almost be a shame I almost wish that like if they do you know take this bridge down for safety reasons that they keep a part of the wall for historical purposes just because the construction of it is it, it just really um, it does add a lot to the imagination as far as, you know, what has transpired on this bridge over all these years. Probably so much, you know, it has so much history here. All right, now these couple photos are pretty much the same photo, but I just wanted to. I'm actually pissed I'm kicking myself because I didn't take a picture of the wall that was in inside the... Um, 
the creek. There's part of the wall that's inside the creek. I'm going to see. I might have taken a video of it. So if I did, I'm going to add it to the end of this little section here. But you can see from these couple of photos here, this is, um, I guess it would be, what is it? We're facing south. So I guess the east side of the wall um, would be, is east or west or facing north? No, this is the west side of the wall. So the west side of the wall here is completely falling over. Um, there's a point where you're literally on the bridge itself over the archway and you are looking over and there's just no wall there and there should be, and there's not. <laughs> so it's, you can see there's been a lot of damage to this side for some reason. And the whole thing is starting to peel away from the main construction of the bridge. So this is probably the saddest part of the entire bridge here. So this is the last picture. This is a picture facing north of the uh, bridge surface. You can see how overgrown it is at this point, and it's not even really fully in the spring yet. Uh, but this was the main thoroughfare for years of people heading north into Ben Salem, out of the Philadelphia County into Bucks County. So on the other side of that bridge, you're looking at the county line. And um, just an interesting idea to uh, kind of think in the imagination of how many people have gone over this bridge in the 200 years that it's been standing. Um, really, I guess in the past 50 years or so, it hasn't been used hardly at all. So from 1806 to about 1960, this bridge was in very heavy use. And now it's a forgotten bit of just landscape that was completely forgotten about and is now falling apart slowly but surely. And eventually it'll just be lost to time. And that's why I wanted to document this so that, you know, if they do decide to take it down for safety reasons, um, that a document of what the bridge looked like and the construction of it lives on. So this last one, which uh, over which I'll overlay some fun facts about the bridge itself, is basically just a, a panoramic photo that I took uh, using the panorama setting on my iPhone 5S. And um, it kind of gives you an overall view of the, I guess, the east side of the bridge. Um, the left side of the photo is towards Philly and the right side of the photo is towards Ben Salem. So uh, you can see here just kind of an overall view of the bridge. And uh, I do thank you for watching and I hope most of you history lovers out there who are watching this video um, will give me some feedback on it. I know that I'm, you know, can sometimes be a little boring, but, uh, you know, I, I was really jazzed about seeing this bridge and being able to take some pictures of it and just kind of document it for all time here. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, I am certainly always on the hunt for history. And uh, let me know, and I'll be able to uh, post some more like it. But thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye now.